hello everyone welcome to my youtube channel in this video tutorial i'm going to show you 10 of gis research topic and i will explain each and every topic to you, you and um, that are really important to be incorporated and you can work on it definitely i think you will enjoy the video so let's watch the video to till end Topic number one is disaster management and mitigation with GIS and remote sensing. Today, a well-developed GIS systems are used to protect the environment. You know, it's become an integrated, well-developed, and successful tool in disaster management and mitigation. GIS can help with the risk management and analysis by displaying which areas are likely to be prone prone to natural or man-made disaster when such disaster are identified prevented measures can be developed right so topic number two accident analysis and hot spot analysis well GIS can be used as a key tool to minimize accident hazard or roads. The existing road network has to optimize and also the road safety measures have to be improved. This can be achieved by proper traffic management by identifying the accident location that in which we can use the GIS. Remedial measures can be planned by the district administration to minimize accident in different parts of the world. Rerouting design is also very convenient using GIS. So the knowledge of GIS and remote sensing can be incorporated in accident analysis and hotspot analysis. Number three, <clears throat> urban planning. GIS technology is used to analyze the urban growth and its direction of expansion and to find suitable sites for further urban development. In order to identify the sites suitable for urban growth, certain factors have to consider which is land should be proper, accessibility, land should be more or less flat, land should be vacant or having low uses below so it should have good supply of water so all those things can be mapped can be designed can be visualized with the help of GIS and remote sensing well <clears throat> the next topic is wetland mapping wetland contributes to a healthy environment and retain water during dry periods Thus keeping the water level high and relatively stable. During the flooding, they act to reduce flood level and to trap suspended solid and attached nutrient. Right? So GIS provides options for wetland mapping and design project for wetland conservation quickly with the help of GIS. Integration with remote sensing data helps can to complete wetlands mapping. On various scale we can create a wetland map uh, wetland digital data uh, data bank with the uh, space spaces information using GIS and we can look at the particular area that are threatened and different conservation practice can be uh, developed with the based of the data collected from the GIS and remote sensing so I think uh, uh, it can be more are a useful and emergency and very uh, crucial research for uh, modern science. Now, uh, natural resource management. By the help of GIS technology, the agriculture, water, and forest resource can be well maintained and managed. Forester can easily monitor forest condition. Agriculture land includes managing crop yields, monitor crops rotation, 
and more water management. So water is one of the most essential constituents of the environment, you know. GIS is used to analyze geographical distribution of water resources. They are interrelated forest cover resource. And the storm water runoff and the tree canopy stores approximately almost 2,15,000 tons of carbon. GIS is also used in afforestation project. So afforestation, you know, afforestation is the process of uh, planting trees in a particular area uh, uh, that are not uh, uh, previously planted with the forest uh, 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 or uh, some of the vegetation. So it's it can be very uh, helpful and essential research I think with the help of GIS and remote sensing. Now flood damage estimation. <clears throat> GIS helps to document the need for federal disaster relief funds when appropriate it can be utilized by insurance agencies to assist in assessing monetary value of the property loss. A local government needs to map flooding risk areas for develop and evaluate the flood potential level in the surrounding area. The damage can be well estimated and can be shown using digital maps. For example, you can see uh, two maps uh, and where different information are visualized with the help of GIS and uh, remote sensing technology and different software associated with GIS and remote sensing. Now landslide hazard donation using GIS. Landslide, landslide hazard donation is the process of ranking different parts of an area according to the degree of the actual or potential hazard from landslide. The evaluation of landslide hazard is complex text. It has become possible to efficient, efficiently collect, manipulate and integrate a variety of special data such as geological, structural, surface cover and slope characterized of an area which can be used for hazard donation. The entire above, uh, above uh, said layer um, can well integrated using GIS and when analysis also helpful to find landslide prone areas. By the help of GIS, we can do risk assessment and can reduce the losses of lives and properties. And next topic is determine land use and land cover changes. Land cover means the features that is covered covering the barren surface. Land use means the areas in the surface utilized for particular use. The role of GIS technology in land use and land cover application is that we can determine land use, land cover changes in different areas. Also it can detect and estimate the changes of land use and land cover pattern within time. It enables to find out certain changes in land use and land cover either by natural forces or by the activities like deforestation. And another important applications of the land use and land cover changes uh, is you, this data can be used for master plan of a particular reason, especially the urban areas. So GIS and remote sensing is essential tool to assist the land cover changes for a particular time. And uh, more especially, it can be used uh, to um, to find out how much changes has been occurred and how much area is, is replaced with the other land cover classes. For example, uh, the vegetation cover area uh, uh, can be replaced by the uh, uh, barren land or even um, with the uh, you know, build-up area. So most probably 
build up it is expanded uh, by replacing the vegetation water body and agricultural sector so this is really essential tool uh, gis which is gis and remote sensing you can incorporate to uh, to uh, find the particular area and its land cover changes and now uh, the transportation planning well gis can be used in many uh, in managing transportation and logical problems if transport department is planning for a new railway or road then this can be performed by adding environmental and topographical data into gis platform this will easily output the best road for transportation based on the uh, criteria like uh, flattest road least damage to habitat and less um, and least disturbance from local people gis can also help in monitoring railway system and route communication and finally the agricultural application <coughs> JS can be used to create more effective and efficient farming techniques. It can also analyze soil data and determine what are the best crops to plants, where they should go, where to find natural level of best uh, benefits crops to plant. It's fully integrated and well accepted for helping government agencies to manage programs and supports farmers and protect the environment this could increase food production and different parts of the world so the world food crisis could be avoided so in this mini lecture i have talked about uh, different gis research topic a gis professional or a students can work to make his or her world better so if we work together to make the world more amazing we can work on these particular topics i know there are a lot of topics to work but these topics uh you can take to work uh, to help the country help the society and the, your community anyway thank you very much for watching the videos